Bangladesh, with a near-to-nil carbon footprint, ranks now seven in Global Climate Risk Index, 2020's most at-risk country and a profound victim of global emissions. By 2050, rising sea levels will submerge 17% of Bangladesh's coastline and displace more than 20 million people. Each year, we lose 1% of our GDP to extreme climate events. More than 10 million Bangladeshis already became climate migrants, while we continue to generously host 1.1 million forcibly displaced Rohingyas from Myanmar at a steep ecological cost. And yet, under the extraordinary climate stewardship of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, Bangladesh has emerged a global leader in adaption, climate resilience, disaster risk reduction, and nature-based climate solutions. Chair of the Climate Vulnerable Forum, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has announced the Mujib Climate Prosperity Decade 2030, an action plan charting a low-carbon development pathway for Bangladesh, while making our economic growth more climate-resilient. 30 million saplings are being planted nationwide as a part of the Mujib Climate Prosperity Action, mostly by our women and youth climate volunteers including many form of the coast of Bangladesh. Earlier this year, Bangladesh government cancelled plans for 10 coal-fired power plants, but that was a relatively small step. Bangladesh also submitted ambitious and quantified national determined contributions ahead of COP26, including a renewable energy target of 40% by 2041. The journey of our government, especially in the power sector, it is extremely, extremely something which has to be praised, something which brings the positive attention of the world. I think we started with less than 5,000 megawatt in the year 2008, and from there we are above 22, 23,000 today. So it is a jump of more than four times. And uh, another thing which our government al always focused is to have all kinds of energy in the grid. That is not to only generate electricity from oil, not to generate electricity only from gas, but to generate electricity from all possible sources. Keeping up with the pace of the modern developments, the government is currently focusing on renewables. We as Orient Group are working on this 100 megawatt, 130 megawatt, and we hope to come live, inshallah, within the next two months. We don't want to end there, but we want to follow with the government. Target of having at least 10% renewable energy in the grid. We are targeting many such projects, and um, inshallah, God willing, we hope to come to the grid with this project very soon. Acknowledging Bangladesh Youth Climate Movement, Bangladesh Parliament was declared a planetary emergency and called on the world to work on a war footing to stop climate change. Bangladesh government is spending on average 2.5% of our GDP, 5 billion USD each year in climate adaption and resilience building alongside the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100. Without waiting for external, financing government implemented more than 800 climate action projects from PM Sheikh Hasina self-financed 450 million US dollar National Climate Change Trust Fund. We have known for over a decade that Bangladesh, the country least responsible for global warming, is first in line to feel the full force of its impacts. We need to understand that we are the rightful recipient of climate funds. They are causing harm so they have to compensate for it. Developed countries have promised 100 billion a year from 2020 onwards. According to climate experts, of the 20% funding, we only get 10%. From that 10 to 20%, only 2% of global fund reach the most vulnerable communities. The countries are getting the money, but the most vulnerable people are not getting the money. That is the failure of the governance. On the other hand, lack of transparency and accountability is leaving us behind. 
Also, most of the people do not have clear ideas on how to get access to those funds. Whereas all groups involved in climate change issues, but climate finance this issue is still behind. The poor discussion, monitoring and evolution and have not been actively involved in climate finance. For proper utilization of climate funds for facing challenges of climate change impacts. There is a need to prepare a local adoption plan engaging local people, including youth. Ensuring transparency and increasing public awareness is one of the most important factors as it transforms into capacity. Considering this issue, Prodiki, Jubo Shangshud and Youthnet for Climate Justice has taken an initiative titled Strengthening Youth Involvement in Climate Action and Facilitating Youth-Led Advocacy to Improve Climate Finance Efficacy under the Promoting Knowledge for Accountable Systems, Prokash, British Council. Protiki Jubo Shangshud has established 19 district-level units and organized 10 capacity-building workshops in the virtual platforms. After these capacity building workshops, young people conducted 10 social audits into the climate project of Bangladesh Climate Change Trust Fund. Young people built an impactful partnership with the Parliamentarians Network Climate Parliament and its Secretariat Earth Society. Protiki Jubo Shangshud and Earth Society facilitated for oversight visits at Shatkira, Mongla, Gaibandha and Nilfamari district. কোন শ্যামনগর উপজেলার রমজান নগর ইউনিয়ন এবং গোলাখালি গ্রামে এসেছি এটি একদম ভারত বাংলাদেশ সীমান্তে সুন্দরবনের একদম সবথেকে দূরবর্তী গ্রাম এখানকার জানা জনসাধারণ আছে ওনাদের সাথে কথা বলে আমরা যেটা জানতে পারলাম যে বর্তমানে ওনাদের একটি বড় সমস্যা হলো এখানে প্রতিবছরই সাইক্লোনে এখানে ঝড়ের আঘাতের থেকেও জলচ্ছাসের পরিমাণ অনেক বেশি পানির পরিমাণ অনেক বেড়ে যায় এবং স্বাভাবিক জোয়ারের সময় আগের থেকে অনেক বেড়ে গেছে জলবায়ু পরিবর্তনের প্রভাবের কারণে সুতরাং এখানে ওনাদের একটি সাইক্লোন শেল্টার দরকার যার ফলে ওনারা এই সকল বিপর্যয়ের সময়ে তারা এখানে আশ্রয় গ্রহণ করতে পারে এছাড়া অবকাঠামোর উন্নয়নও দরকার আর ওনারা যেটা বলছেন যে লবণাক্ততাও যেরকম বেড়ে গেছে যার ফলে ওনারা যে এখানে এখানে তো আসলে মেন তাদের জীবিকা নির্বাহ হলো ঘেরের মাধ্যমে সুতরাং তারা যে এই যে চিংড়ি ধরছেন সেটিও কিন্তু এই লবণাক্ততা বেড়ে যাওয়ার কারণে এবং এবার অতিবৃষ্টি হওয়ার কারণে বেশি বর্ষা হওয়ার কারণে তারা অনেক ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে যেগুলো আসলে জলবায়ু পরিবর্তনের সরাসরি প্রভাব এবং আমরা এখানে জাতীয় সংসদের যারা মাননীয় সংসদ সদস্যবৃন্দ আছেন আমরা ক্লাইমেট পার্লামেন্টের পক্ষ থেকে এসে তাদের সাথে মত বিনিময় করে এই বিষয়গুলো আমরা জানতে পারলাম যে বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে আমি মনে করি আমাদের এবং আমাদের সাথে যারা ইউথ প্রতিনিধি আছেন এবং যারা এখানে প্রশাসনের ব্যক্তিবর্গ আছেন আমাদের সকলের এই বিষয়টি নিয়ে কাজ করা উচিত এই অংশের পিছিয়ে পড়া জনগোষ্ঠীর জন্য We are here today uh, in uh, basically Shatkira district by the Bay of Bengal on the uh, borders of Bangladesh, India and of course uh, the Shundarbans. And uh, the COP26 uh, which is going to happen in Glasgow in the coming months, I think we are all preparing to hear words and strong words from global leaders to see some action. And the action of course for Bangladesh has been taken up by the government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh uh, under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Uh, we have mobilized uh, our own fund uh, in terms of uh, catering and of course creating a sustainable and resilient uh, infrastructure uh, towards uh, vulnerable communities and hence this is a right time uh, for us all uh, to voice the same thing together. Uh, in addressing climate change and take adequate measures, the commitment under which the Paris Accord was signed uh, to uphold that uh, agreement and hence uh, to see the implementation of 
uh, those uh, objectives and of course we all uh, call on the global leaders to take up actions and uh, as, we, as you can see the vulnerable communities have been affected severely um, of course heavy rainfall across the year has happened in Bangladesh uh, high rate of uh, death tolls from frequent uh, light storms and lightnings and the frequency of cyclones have uh, increased rapidly and of course as you can see uh, at this time of the year usually in Bangladesh we do not see so much of uh, high temperature uh, the salinity of these areas have been tremendously uh, changed over the course of a couple of years and we have seen the, the rise of uh, seawater level across the Sundarbans, the mangrove and uh, around the coastal area so of course this is where it's all happening and we all seek uh, everyone's um, uh, help in terms of tackling uh, the ever-changing uh, climate change. Jalobayu Puriburton, Akoneki Utunto Shomoyo Pujuki issue because Bangladesh, Jikane carbon emission, Utunto Alpo contribute Kore into a carbon emission at Juno, Jalobayu Puriburton Hotse, the Bangladeshi, Vishi. ভাগ লোক এফেক্টেড হবে বিশেষ করে যে সি লেভেল যদি রাইজ করে তাহলে আমাদের দেশের দক্ষিণ অঞ্চলের প্রায় 40 মিলিয়ন পিপলের জীবন এফেক্টেড হবে এবং তাদেরকে অন্যান্য জায়গায় মাইগ্রেট করে যেতে হবে শুধু তাই নয় এই ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জের জন্য যে ক্ষতিকর প্রভাবগুলো রয়েছে তাতে আমাদের এই কৃষি প্রধান দেশ বাংলাদেশ যেখানে আমরা কৃষির উপরে নির্ভরশীল সেই কৃষিটা ব্যাপকভাবে এফেক্টেড হবে So, I mean, first of all, a, a big thank you to both the Climate Parliament and, and Usenet for putting on this event. I found it really, really inspiring. And so it's really fantastic to hear of all the, the wonderful things you're doing. I wanted to just um, talk about three areas that you've been talking about um, this evening. One was around the social audits, the second around the way that the meetings between uh, parliamentarians and youth 
um, and, and the third one around COP26. So in terms of the social audits, I mean, the kinds of findings that you have found is something that uh, we've also been uh, finding with a number of the work. We've been doing this, as you know, now for many years. And the kinds of things you've been identifying um, are similar to the other things we've been finding in, in other social audits across the country. And, and what it says very much is this, this works. Young people also brought the findings and recommendations to the climate parliament in a national level dialogue. Fostering the policy dialogue, Parliament and Young had explored the John way forward to ensure climate finance efficacy at the grassroots level of COP26 and beyond.